ship deliverance star log 12138.3. Captain Jonathan Rocket reporting. Oh, it's a close one. Oh, yeah. The Kylene are hospitable, but man, they are not the, not the easiest species to get along with. Oh, and the smell. Whoo! Whoa, hello. Ouch! Watch it! Anywho, I've broken orbit past Snowball 1 and am on my way to a mysterious beacon on what the Galactic Star Charts labels as Planet W. Uh, my hyperdrive is still malfunctioning, so hopefully whoever I meet down there can be able to help me fix it and get a new one. Otherwise, I am stuck here in the snowball system, and there's not a snowball's chance in, hey, that's very funny, in hell that I am going to let this stop my mission to try to find the center of the galaxy. Captain Rocket out. Uh, uh, oh, that felt better. Oh, I've been holding that in for a while. Okay, let's turn on the engines and let's go. Whee! Whee! <laughs> hey, I love space travel. Watch this. Oh, baby! Yes! Woohoo! This gets me every time! It's like the roller coaster's back on Earth! Now, how do I slow down? Oh, crap! I'm breaking orbit. I'm going through the atmosphere. Am I going to do it? Woohoo! All right! Whee! <laughs> well, so far, I mean, no. I mean, it's very rocky, but at least it's not Rocky Five. I need to find like a nice tropical planet. Go explore the galaxy, they said. Go in a small dinky ship and explore planets, they said. You know what I said? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes, this is taking forever. At least there's nothing shooting at me this time. You don't know what we can see. Oh, oh, hello. Let's land. We're here. Smell it. Hello, planet. Warm tumman. I'll just call you Planet W for now. Well, the air seems somewhat hospitable. At least this is always plentiful in any star system. Hello, Carbon. Nice to meet you. Let me destroy you. Decent beacon to be able to go from planet to planet. All right, well, let's... Awesome! I should probably give my computer a name. I think it's something like Alice. Alice sounds good. Hello, Alice. Now what? Radio signal detected. Find source of life sign. Where my ship go? Hello. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> For an intergalactic explorer, you'd think I would know where my own ship is. Hop on in. Don't mind if I do. Land. Oh. Wow. Ooties crater. Ooties. Ooties. Boo yeah. Thanks, Alice. You're a peach. Now let's go. Talk to Hello. Earth ship deliverance star log supplemental. The creature awaiting me has the manner of a warrior, but makes no move to attack. Instead, it grunts in a tongue I do not speak, and then possesses and passes me a slate. With a start, I realize I can understand the text on it. In disbelief, I try to catch the creature's eye, but it has already turned away in disinterest. I suspected a mere cur courier, not the author of this message. The slate also contains a blueprint for a new technology, a hyperdrive. I could use that. Instructions on how to build my own path through the stars. This will be invaluable. The warrior thing inspects its weapons and then moves on. Hyperdrive. I only need a little bit more viridium and I've already got it made. 
Perfect! This is great! Is this iridium? Nope. Is that iridium? Nope. I don't know, Alice. Maybe I'll to, maybe maybe I can't find the uh, heridium on this planet. Unless that's not a platinum. I don't need platinum. But I'll take it anyway. I don't like the sound of that. Let's take me back to the uh -oh. Who are where are you? I hate you! Whoa, you're big and mean! As much as you know I enjoy mining, I think I'm gonna buy my Heridium. At least I got cash this time. Alright. Let me go back to my ship and let's build this hyperdrive. Woo! Now, how do I charge it? Collect a warp cell to charge up your hyperdrive. I need a warp cell too? Dang damn it! Warp cell, thermium 9, which I've got, and antimatter. How the heck do I get antimatter? Incoming signal. Where? I'm coming for you! Whee! I missed the landing pad. For crying out loud. Man, I'm a terrible pilot. Hello. Sorry to just barge in like this, but you know, I hope it's okay. Hi. I don't understand a word you're saying. Being snows at me when I enter, but I barely have a chance to cover before it looks embarrassed and puts up its hands apologetically. Its warrior seems on edge, but was clearly expecting me as before it relays a message to me once again, sent by whoever Nada and Polo are. The staccato missive is accompanied by a donation of antimatter from my mysterious benefactors, enough of it that I could build a warp cell from hyper That's all I needed? This guy is gonna give it to me? I couldn't even buy- I'll take it! I am no wiser as to who Nana and Polo are, but now I have the means to locate them, though I strongly suspect that they must choose between finding them and something. Oh, for crying out loud, that's all I need the entire time? Alright. Let's build this freaking warp cell. I attain galactic travel! Yes! So this is where I am. I finally got my thing. Sp <sighs> As that British bog guy liked to say, engage. Well, Alice, let's continue forward. Second start of the right, straight on till morning.